Welcome to the third tutorial of the motion graphics tutorial series that I'm creating. Um, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create these animated circle bursts using trim paths. So let's start. I'm going to create a new composition. Um, the width and the height don't doesn't matter. Um, I'm using 29.97 for the frame rate, and uh, the the duration is one second. So I'm going to create a new uh, empty shape layer and I'm going to add a rectangle, uh, a stroke and trim paths. I'm going to change the size of this rectangle to 450 and um, the stroke width to 20 and I'm going to open up trim paths. So we can see a start, an end, and an offset property. So what do these do? Uh, the start property determines the start uh, of your stroke on this path. The end uh, property does the same thing. It determines the end of your stroke on the path. And the offset property offsets uh, both the start and the end point on your path. So now when you know what trim paths is and how it works, we can create the circle bursts. I'm going to create a new composition again. It's the same as the previous one. And I'm going to add a new empty shape layer. Um, then I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to hold down shift and click right there and so I'm still holding down shift and I'm clicking up there okay and now I have the shape one and I have a fill I'm not going to need it so I'm going to delete it and now I'm going to add trim paths and I'm going to change the stroke width to let's see 15 you can change the color if you want to and now we need to add some keyframes. So I'm going to keyframe the start and the end property. I'm going to change the value of the end property to zero. Then I'm going to move uh, down 10 frames by holding down shift and pressing page down. And I'm going to create two keyframes again. And I'm going to change their values to 100. And I'm just going to move uh, uh, the start keyframe a few frames uh, back and there we have our animation now I'm just going to easy ease these by selecting them and pressing F9 and now we have that and we're halfway done we just need to add one simple expression so alt click the rotation property and type in index uh, multiplied uh, with 360 and then divide it with 20. So if you divide it by with 20, you're going to have 20 of these lines. If you divide it with, I don't know, 15, you're going to have 15 of these lines. And now uh, you just need to uh, control, press Control D and duplicate your layers as many times as you need uh, until you get a full circle. Okay, and let's see. So there's our circle, bur circle burst that we just created. Stroke on these lines is a bit too thick, but you can change that later. Um, this is used a lot in motion graphics videos and it's going to make your videos look better. You can check out my channel, uh, I'll be making a lot more tutorials. So if you would like to see them, you can subscribe and thank you for watching.